Hey everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today we are checking out what the Terraria Pyro class, Pyro subclass, flamethrower subclass, I don't know what you want to call it, Pyromaniac subclass should have been. Now, Terraria itself only has, you know, a handful of flamethrowers. And when I say a handful, I mean two. There might be some things that spit flames, but when it comes to the ranged flamethrower class itself, subclass, this is all we got. We got flamethrower one, you know, the regular hard mode flamethrower that you can't make till you beat, what is it, Skeletron Prime, I believe. And then you got the Elf Melter, which is a drop from the Christmas event. And the Elf Melter actually does give us a flamethrower tank. I don't know if that's a mod doing that or if that's always been in the game somewhat recently and I never noticed that. But I do appreciate that because it looks way cooler when you have a tank on your back. But yeah, there's the Elf Melter and then... There's the flamethrower. That's it. And it's a little upsetting because there's definitely potential here. Flamethrowers are fun to use. They're great for crowd control. Uh, maybe not the greatest for, you know, single target. But still, Terraria is more fun with more different ways to play it. And if each subclass had enough content to, you know, play through Terraria every single time from beginning to end, the game would have even more endless possibilities and fun on top of it. And that's not even including mods and stuff. But today, we have to include the mods because Vanilla Terraria didn't do it itself. So we are checking out the not enough flamethrower mods and as you can see there is not enough flamethrowers i wish there was more now this is a good amount this covers like mostly the entire game this is more than fine for me but yes let us hop into it here as you see we got a nice little uh fiery biome here that i made but it's also snowing i tried to get rid of the snow but it, it took too much effort so i just ended up putting a uh solar monolith over here yeah good enough it looks good enough for now but let us hop into it now you may be like for a flamethrower mod is there any other weapons in it that aren't flamethrowers? Yes, there is. I know, that's exactly what you were asking in a flamethrower mod. But let me go ahead and grab a handful of stuff here. Let's start with these first two weapons that aren't flamethrowers, but they do help flamethrowers. At least these ones do. The Oilers. Shoots oil that increases damage from fire. See, now you're looking at the item and you're like, oh, okay, it makes sense. So if we summon in something here, let, let's hit it with a regular flamethrower, okay? We're doing like seven, six, five, eight. Those are the numbers we're doing right there. We take them. Let's bring them back over here. We hit him with the oiler, okay? Which does a little baby damage. And now he has a debuff on him where we're going to be hitting for higher numbers there. We're hitting more nines and eights. Even a 16 was in there. And the, the higher number average is definitely there as we saw. But then we got the oiler too, which increases the damage even more. And I believe it shoots out oil even faster. So let's go ahead. Let's, let's try this out. It does a little bit more damage too. Let's see the numbers now. We're seeing the higher averages there. So not too bad. I don't know how often I would personally use it. I don't know if it's the greatest to like, you know, sw hit hit a boss or something with it and then switch. I mean, it doesn't take that much effort to do. So there's no reason not to do it. But there is an Icor flamethrower. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so this thing kind of becomes a little redundant later on. But let's move on to the next weapon here. The Air Busters. Creates a blast of air that knocks back enemies. Now, I don't know if this is a subclass of a subclass thing or if the mod creator just felt like adding these in. Let's check them out anyways. Boom. They didn't even go that far back. It doesn't do damage though, which is interesting. Let's see the Air Buster 2. Boom! Also doesn't really push them far back. I don't know what the point of these weapons are. Maybe these guys just don't have low knockback resistance. I don't know. But let us get to what everyone wants to see. And that is the flamethrowers. Now, I believe all of these are going to use gel for ammo. Except for this one. It uses fallen stars for ammo. Which makes sense. Uh, let me actually spawn in some stars. But yeah, let's start with our first couple flamethrowers here. We're not going to check out the recipes. Just because we got a good bit of flamethrowers to check out. But yeah, we got the gold slinger and the platinum slinger. Obviously you got a gold world you make the gold one you got a platinum world you make the platinum one use an extractinator to get both of them if you want but both of them both say spews a short stream of fire as we can see it's a little baby stream but it is our first flamethrower or maybe there's another one we can get our hands on uh, i try to organize these by progression but i believe this is probably the first one you'll get your hands on so let's go ahead let's summon in just one enemy here and let's see the damage as we can see, it takes a little bit. It takes a little bit, given that we are on a world where all the enemies are probably strong as hell. It's probably going to take a bit because it is your first flamethrower, and it's not going to do too much damage, especially if you don't have any ranger armor set on. Which, maybe like gamers, what are you wearing? This is a vanity set for the mod. Sadly, 
it is not an armor set i know it's very sad this mod actually adds in no armor sets which would be my biggest pet peeve with the mod i don't know what's up with like subclass mods never adding in armor sets to you know add in unique stuff to the subclass but oh well you, you can't get everything beggars can't be choosers but yeah let's move on to the next one the jack o lighter this one obviously made from some pumpkins is what i would assume but let's go ahead let's spawn in just one guy here and it looks like it's doing less damage but we are getting a longer flame which means we can keep um more enemies contained at once or at least fight more enemies at once so we can see here keep them at a safer distance it seems like we can only pierce two enemies at once though, which is a little upsetting. Moving on after that is the Cocktail Cremator. Spews burning cinders that linger on the ground. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Oh, so this is sort of like the Greek fire that the uh, morning wood shoots down. The Greek fire does damage too. Let's, let's see if this does damage here though. I don't know. It's not bad. It's definitely a different type of flamethrower, which I like to see. I like to see multiple options, even for a subclass. But I don't know. Maybe this one has decent crowd control. Yeah, look at that. It's not too bad at the crowd control. Moving on, we got the constellation. I expect this one to be OP as hell. Let's just summon in three guys. Let's see. Oh, yes. If anything is using stars, it better be OP as hell. It says it creates a comet trail of stardust. So this one, I could expect you to use this on like the wall of flesh. Much how like a lot of people use the star cannon on the wall of flesh. Next up, we got the fossil fuel. This is made from sturdy fossil. Shoots a spread of flames. Ah, look at that. So was that two or three? Yes, yeah, three beams. But sometimes when you move, it looks like two only. So let's let's see it in action here. It's not too bad. I feel like the spread is a little weird for a flame door. That and it is a little short short but not the worst another good crowd control weapon like i said flamethrowers are just pretty much good for crowd control and last but not least for our pre hard mode flamethrowers we have the welding torch spawns in concentrated stream of fire i believe this is made from hellstone and a couple other things this one it's got a short flame but it does a lot of damage it does a lot of damage in quick succession uh let's see it against a little group here not too bad against a little group i can definitely see the flamethrower being kind of tough to use on like the wall of flesh but then we take this one out and it's like never mind but yeah there you go there's all the pre-hard mode ones let's put these away and let's move on to the hard mode ones the ones we want to see the most now i believe these are all hard mode the hex spitter i'm assuming you get from the hard mode goblin army so let's see this one in action it shoots shadow flame of course oh look at that our first hard mode one and it's already doing great next up we got the gastric guzzler what an interesting name creates a stream of burning icor now i'm assuming this applies icor yes it does okay so if you really want to you get like all four of these flamethrowers you can hit them with the curse breath you can hit them with the the the, the cold fire what the fuck is that called you can hit them with the icor you can hit them with the shadow flame you can hit them with all four dot effects dot means damage over time so you can do some crazy damage some crazy combos with these but that's if you want to go through all the work of doing that but yeah next up clinger's breath it shoots curse flames curse flames i always see as the the weaker version of uh of icor because icor is just better everyone everyone uses icor but you know if you if you have to use curse flame it's not the worst next up we got the freeze door drenches enemies with liquid nitrogen this reminds me of what is it bioshock 2 is it bioshock 1 or 2 whichever one has the flamer is it the flamer the flame door whatever the fuck <laughs> I think I'm thinking I'll fall out now with Flamer. But yeah, I'm definitely getting some Bioshock vibes. Bioshock, that's that's an iconic game right there. That's one of my favorite game franchises next to Fallout and the Elder Scrolls. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's see it in action here. Of course, who doesn't love the blue flames? I They have a name. I'm just not remembering them. <laughs> Frostburn, that's the name, obviously. All right, next up, we have the Adamantite and the Titanium Flame Burst. Spews burning cinders that linger on the ground. Is this like the Cocktail Cremator? but like just better it looks like it and obviously it's gonna do a lot more damage since it is hard mode and then we got the titanium version which does a little bit more damage uh me personally i do love getting the 1.2 ores because the 1.2 ores do more damage most of the time and usually the armor sets are better too so if i had the option i would try to get my hands on this over the adamantite one but yeah last but not least for this set of flamethrowers we have the pulse thrower fires a stream of pulse waves i'm assuming you get this from the traveling merchant let's see it in action Ooh, a different type of flamethrower you love to see it I love seeing when subclasses have different options. That makes it even better. 
But yeah, let us go ahead and grab our last four flamethrowers here. These are where things are about to step up. I might test them on bosses, maybe? Let's see. But first, let's just start with the enemies. Starting with the Napalm Blaster. Now, I believe the Napalm Blaster this is the only recipe I'm going to look up here. I believe the Napalm Blaster is an upgrade of the Elf Belter, but it does less damage. I don't know why. Creates a fire stream that inflicts a stacking burn debuff. Maybe that's why. Let's see it in action here. Oh, it looks like it goes really, really far compared to the Elf Melter. Like, this thing has some range, but I know the Elf Melter also has range. I, I might have to compare here. We might have to compare sizes. I know. Something I never want to do on the Game Raiders channel. Let's get to it, though. So, that one is going, like, right here where my arrow is. And then, let's see the Elf Melter. Ooh. So it does have more range than the elf melter and it also looks like it shoots more flames not too bad then we lose damage but we gain a debuff and we also get a little bit more speed it looks like so let's see it on a boss then let me see this on a boss just to see the damage and this is the king slime this is like a uh, perfect example for a boss that you want to crowd control because the king slime spawns in a bunch of enemies and i probably should put on like the shroom might set because i believe the shroom wait no actually i don't know if the shroom might set uh <laughs> as a flamethrower specific helmet i know they got a rocket launcher one yeah i don't think it does but there might be a mod that adds in a shroom might helmet let, let me check real quick because i remember there was one time where i did play with a mod that added in an extra shroom might helmet <gasps> right here the calamity mod speaking about the calamity mod that's another mod that has a lot of flamethrowers so if you want another mod with even more flamethrower options, there you go. But look at that. Shroomite Visage. Let's let's put this on. Uh, actually, I don't even know if I want to put the whole set on. Does this make me invisible? I hate being invisible. <laughs> let's, uh, we'll put some of it on, okay? And then just put the flamethrower vanity over it. There you go. We should do a little bit more damage now. On to the next flamethrower, Pest Control. Spews a cloud of toxic gas, which also has a chance to confuse enemies. Now, I believe this one is one of the more insane ones in this mod let's see it look at that that's like what five flames six flames that's some good damage on top of it confusing stuff let's see it against a boss let's see it against the king slime here doing a lot more damage than the last one and that's also because i'm wearing armor but you know what i mean it still probably would do more damage than the last one because it shoots like six times the flames Next up, we got the Raiju. Fires a stream of plasma. I'm assuming this is like a Luminite late game weapon right here. Or a Vortex late game weapon. Something like that. Let's see it in action. Ooh. This one looks like it's got some range to it. Yes, sir. This might be the furthest shooting one we've had. Let's go ahead and see it against King Slime. Oh, my. The damage is there. The damage is 100% there. Insta-killed the King Slime pretty much and got rid of all of the enemies alongside of it. But yeah, last but not least here, the one I left at the end, the Greco Roaster. I left this one at the end because it has the highest base damage out of all of them. So you would assume it'd be really good. Spews a burst of three lingering cinders. Okay, maybe I saved the wrong one for last. Let's see it in action though. Wow, that actually does pretty good damage. Let's see it against the King Slime though. Oh, that's not bad. That really isn't that bad at all. Just the King Slime has to actually land on the cinders and it does good damage. If anything, I think those type of flamethrowers, the ones that leave cinders, I think those are the main crowd control ones. Because imagine just leaving a bunch of cinders on the floor for like a wave of goblins. Like that's easy kills right there. But yeah, there you go. There's all the flamethrowers. The last five for whatever we even put on some decent armor for it but yeah let's check out the vanity to end off the video here we obviously have the red pyro which uh it might be a little bit hard to see let me go to like a lighter area now here we go we got the red pyro as you can see looking nice now i'm assuming this like pyro outfit is based off of the tf2 stuff especially since there is a blue and a red version uh, the only thing it's missing is the tank on its back the tank really adds a lot to the look and then we have the mod developer set i believe kuya cool set i like the i like the hat the hat looks funny but yeah that is all for this flamethrower subclass i hope you guys enjoyed again make sure to check out this mod and make sure to check out the calamity mod because that also has a bunch of flamethrowers too maybe i'll do a future video on that we'll see but yeah if i were to pick out a few pet peeves it would definitely be there's no armor and there's no accessories i feel like they could add a lot there especially in the armor like you can definitely do some unique stuff with armor even accessories but yeah make sure to check out the mod the mod's still really cool i even did a mod review on this mod a while back uh back when i did mod reviews so make sure to check that out too but yeah i'll see you guys next time leave more suggestions for other classes you want to see overhauled Bye bye